What's up guys? It's Daz here. For you that really cares, we have one final area to complete before going to Central Hyrule, and that is the Akala region. So I've marked it out with a whole bunch of side quests. There's only four to do, so this will be hopefully a pretty nice episode, quite and quick, and then we can go on to endgame stuff. Now, there are two in Tarrytown that both are completely... Uh, accessible only once Tarrytown has been completed. It's part of the reason why we've been doing that side quest throughout the whole series. So if you're watching now and want to see the Tarrytown side quest, uh, I guess the links will be in the description for all the times we come over to Tarrytown to go and deal with that. Anyway, there is also one at each of the stables and then obviously the two at Tarrytown. So we're going to start off... Uh, let's go down to Tarrytown first, actually, yeah. And then we'll go to the southern uh, stables and then our way up to the top. So I will see you there in a moment. Because I still don't have a shrine to teleport there yet. Okay, and here we are. Now, what we want to do is we want to go around the back of one of these buildings. Around the back of the southernmost one, not only will you find a dog, but you'll also see an open window with someone having a conversation. Uh, our, uh, our, do our daughter, the only thing she'll eat is cake. Can't anything be done? We've scoured the world, searching for a cake that would please her. None have. Imagine how much money we've spent. Mm. Papa, excuse me. What's more important to you, money or our daughter? I see. If that's... I see. If that's the case. Even if I have to sell my soul to a monster, I'll get my hands on a cake that can cure our daughter. You're talking about monsters now. This is absolutely insane, Mama. Alright, so yes, a parent's love... What we need to do, we need to go and get cake for this little daughter. Now, actually, pe uh, peering in, we'll see what's actually going on. <sighs> Apparently, she's sick. Didn't I tell you? Do you need something from me? Are you alright? Yeah, don't worry yourself. I only wish that my daughter would eat more and recover her health. Alright, so what we need is the clues were in the dialogue. We need a cake from a monster, or some kind of monster cake. We need to find a friendly monster, and the only one in the entire game would happen to be in the Akala region. We need to go way off to Monster Island. You can tell what it is by its how it's made of a skull. So, uh, we're gonna go over to this region now. See you there in a moment. Alright, and here we are. Apparently one eye is a little bit taller than the other, but either way, this is still Skull Lake. And we want to go to the left uh, eye because this is where we will find a very unique monster-esque NPC. Let's go see what he has to say. I'm, uh, I'm also just going to take a quick picture of the guy just because... Is that the time already? I need to get the show on the road. May we meet again on another monstrous night. And that's him gone. That's it. We now need to go and find him again. He will spawn by any of the main cities or villages that we have. Goron City, uh, Rito Village, Kakariko Village, uh, uh, Lurlin Village. They're all going to be nearby to him. However, we're going to go to Kakariko because it's one we haven't been to for a while, so it's kind of where I want to go. Either way, we need to go find him. And after all this running around, I've been to all the different spawns realizing he's not here. He's back on the island. I'm a little lost, but okay. <laughs> oh, yeah! He's just a Hylian. Who are you? Me? My name is Kilton. I suppose you're here because you heard I was opening a monster shop and you wanted to see it for yourself. Monster shop? Yes, I'm opening a monster shop called Fang and Bone, but I'm still preparing for my grand opening. Here's my business card. Fang and Bone, come see old Kilton for the most monstrous deals in all of Hyrule. I'm gonna need that card back. It's the only one I have. Anyway, do you, uh, are you into monsters? I like them. How, uh, how much do you like them? Uh, I adore monsters. <laughs> I love monsters more than you do! Mm. I, uh, sorry. 
I did it again. I just loved the field of monster research so much that I decided to open a shop all about monsters. I call it Fang and Bone. I travel all across, all around Hyrule in search of rare and exciting monster parts, but I'm not sure which village I should visit next. Kakariko Village or Hatano Village, though Rito Village and Zora's Domain are also good options. Mm -mm. I suppose I could go all the way to Gerudo Town or Lolin Village, but Lake Akala is much closer. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited I can hardly contain myself. I can't just sit around while there are monsters to be studied. I'm off! I'm sure we'll meet again in some village during the night. Fare thee well. Oops, I accidentally jumped the gun on that then. I thought he already went to the other villagers. Now he appears in pretty much any village establishment. We're gonna go to the Akala one, actually. Because I believe, well, first of all, it's more theming with this place, but I believe he also goes underneath the bridge to Tarrytown. So let's find out. And here we are at Tarrytown. <laughs> Gilton is just beneath the bridge. Probably the easiest one to uh, remember. And also you can tell where he's going to spawn by these signs being around. Fang and bone over on your night. So uh, what do you have to say? <laughs> oh, yeah! Ah, it's just you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business. Seeing as you're a first time customer here at Fang and Bone, our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to Mon. Uh, what is Mon? Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Just kidding, there is no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turn them into money. Here's the deal if you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, eh? Anyway, you can spend your Mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Ah, another thing. I've always I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. So let's exchange some monster parts you have for Mon. Uh, sure. Oh, thank you very much! So now... What do we exchange for Mon? Okay, so yes, you need to give him monster parts to earn Mon. We have... Plenty of stuff since I've basically never sold it. We want to have nine mon minimum. So uh, here you go, have three. I'll give you plenty more later. Oh, I'm sounding a bit like kill to myself now. Thank you very much. I'll add your new mon to your balance. Okay. Hmm. Anything you ready, monster master man? Now then, how can Fang and Bone meet your monstrous needs today? Let's spend it. <laughs> da, da, da. I've done it. I've developed an unprecedented piece of monster gear. I can't believe I was able to pull this off. I'm actually a bit terrified of myself right now. <clears throat> I present to you the ultimate in monster camouflage. I call it the Dark Series. Wear this and you'll become a monster yourself. I hope you like being hunted for your organs. Or you could just, you know, think of how, think of it as a costume. Oh, yes, and when night falls, you might just be able to move a little bit faster. Not sure how it turned out that way, but I'm not complaining. You've only got nine months, so it won't do much for you, but feel free to take a look. Alright, so yes, you can get a whole bunch of extra stuff. What we really want is the monster extract, because that's what we can use to make the cake that we want. But there's also a mop for some reason, a spring-loaded hammer, and a bunch of masks. These make you uh, friendly to the enemy that you have the mask of. For the most part, you can just wear that mask and go through them and they won't care. Or they'll look at you funny and maybe dance a bit. Also, it works for Lynels, but only temporarily, so maybe not. Uh, you also get some uh, horse stuff, and then you've got the Dark Armor, giving you Dark Link. Again, making you faster in nighttime. We might go for it. We'll see how much Mon we have at the end of the uh, spree of monster parts that I'll be getting from him later. Anyway, for now, let's go and get the monster extract. I mean, I'm a I think it's Cool. All right, that is us done. Now that we have one ingredient, we need to make the rest of the cake. Next up, we're going to the Rito Village shop because the other ingredients can all be bought here. We need to mount the wheat, some cane sugar, and some goat butter. Butter, sugar, wheat, and then monster extract. Thankfully enough though, I actually already had these other three parts from my adventures. So now, let's go put it all together and give it to the child. All right, here it all is, and let's get cooking. Mm. 
Monster cake. A quarter of a heart. It's said that once you have a taste of this cake, you'll never forget its sweetness. Alright, so now let's just go and deliver it. Wrong way. <sighs> hmm, and you are... Do you need something from me? Take this. Mm -hmm. What is... Is this a monster cake? I should give this to my daughter? Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh wow, it's certainly quite pungent. Ooh. I suppose I can't complain about things like that. If our daughter can get her better thanks to a, this cake, I'll try to get her to eat it right away. And that is the parents love updated. And you can see her running around. Hi! It's the traveler guy! Well then, say, have you heard of a monster cake? Uh, monster what's now? Mama bought me one! It was so gross! But after I ate it, I got really strong, like this! You should try one if you want to be real strong like me! Oh. Thank you so much! That monster cake, our daughter wolfed it down with unbelievable gusto. It seems her health has returned to her. Oh. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so thankful. Oh, I know, this isn't much, but please take it. A gold rupee. Lovely. Could you maybe try talking to her sometime as well? Nice. And that is a parent's love officially completed. That's one out of four. Technically five that I actually want to do today. This took me just under an hour to do just because I didn't realize that I'd had to not wait for a blood moon for Kilton over there. But oh well. Anyway, we have another side quest to do over in Tarrytown, so let's do it now. We need to go and talk to this guy sitting off on the edge of the island. Ha. Ah. What's the deal? You're... I'm a traveler. Hey, look, it's the dad. I normally don't, ta don't have time to make it with commoners, but I have a feeling about you. I'll make an exception this time. You're close. I'm guessing you're a little hard up for cash, am I right? Yeah. I appreciate your honesty. So, for the down payment, I'd say a hundred rupees sounds fair, yes? A uh, down payment? I don't care about the details here, just take it. And... Alright, silver rupees, thank you. <laughs> ho ho ho, so you accept then? Excellent! Now listen to what I have to say. The Torin Wetlands lies to the west of here. You're aware that there are guardians there, not just one either. Two of them! You know how dangerous they are. Sunny boy, I'd like you to find a both and wallop both of them in Torin Wetland, then come and see me. Alright, hobbies of the rich. We have to destroy a couple of guardians down here. Fun times! Let's go. Here's one way you can do it. You can do it by mashing off all of their legs individually. Uh, don't let it get a hit on you though. There's that hit. Oh well. Okay, so yes, what we want to do this time is just break down all of its legs. It's good if you've got a two-handed weapon, because then you can just do a long slice like this all the way along him. Hopefully dodge the other guardian hits. I can't lock onto the guy, which is kind of a pain. There we go. That's almost all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Abosa's Fury. That works too. Cool. That's one down. There was another one aiming at me just a moment ago. There you are, buddy. Okay. Now, let me grab more of your friend's leftovers. Thank you. Oh, crap. You gotta... Oh, no. You, you dodged. I dodged. Great. Now what I wanna... Whoops. Let me get this too. What I want to do now is I want to stun the guy, and now I want to climb on top of him. It's not going to let me do that, is it? Okay, give me a moment then. Here we go. Now he can't see us, and if I aim it correctly... Oh, you had to stop, didn't you? Oh, Lord. Oh, I thought I could stun it in time. Damn it. All right, let's try this one more time. There we go. Now that we're on top of him, the guy doesn't know what to do. I think it's a pretty fun little attention to detail. Right, so how are we going to deal with this guy? Um, I guess we could just do with the standard what we've always done. Freeze and break down his legs. It's a lot more satisfying. Or we can just flip him right over. That's also effective, I guess. Oh, well, our shield broke. Uh, sword broke. That's fine, we got another one. Bam. Lovely, and I think he's got one more limb left. Yeah, look at him now, completely destroyed. That is how you take down a guardian. 
Lovely. And that should be the side quest updated. I'm hoping. It hasn't shown up yet. That's a shame. I, I definitely destroyed two in the Torrin wetlands. Is there more? I'll go find another one if I have to. <coughs> Excuse me, buddy. Oh, you've got your daughter with you too. Do you need something else from me? Guardian's kaput. Okay, okay, I saw the whole thing. You did splendidly. I'll give you the rest of the reward as promised. T uh, 20 rupees. Okay. Why do you look so disappointed? Can't be because the reward is lower than the down payment, can it? You commoners with your notions of notions and assumptions. The whole idea that a down payment is a small part of the final payment is an idea entirely unique to the common folk. In any case, our business is concluded. Go over there. Or anywhere, really. Anywhere that isn't right here. Jeez, what a lovely guy. But yes, that is Hobbies of the Rich now completed. So now we got that done, we're done with Terrytown. Properly. We're now going to go and take on the two stable side quests, and they're not going to take us too long, so I will see you in just a moment. And now that we're here at the South Akala Stables, we need to talk to this girl here. Who do you, uh, what do you want? I'm just hanging out. We'll see about that. <laughs> What's that? What do you have there? That's Armoranth, isn't it? Could you, um, maybe give me some? Sure. Thank you. For you to be walking around with my favourite plant, it, it seems like you and I may just get along after all. That said, a colour is famous for, well, nothing. So I have to ask, what could possibly have, what could you have possibly have come here for? Uh, Hudson? Hudson? Oh, that commodore did stop by here, as it were. He said something like, I'm gonna build a village from the ground up. I think he went off towards Lake Akala. Lake Akala is to the east of here. If you're curious, you should head over there. Okay. So, it's you. That said, Akala is famous for well nothing. You have to do the other two to actually get continuing on this side quest. So, uh, I'm just, I'm a traveler. I see. A traveler, eh? In that case, I have a request for you. My little sister Gleamer is a huge fan of insects. I, no, I don't get it either. But apparently there's a certain insect she's dying to see in real life. She won't tell me about it though. I suppose there are some things you just can't talk about with those that you're closest to. Anyway, would you mind talking to her and trying to figure out what silly insect she's so crazy about? It's for her birthday. Think of it as a special birthday favor. Ooh, and uh, even a birthday quest. Look, just do it, okay? All right, so second part of it. Little sister's big request. Where did she go? Where? Well, I'll find her eventually. There she is. The text is the only thing telling me. Hello. Huh? Hey, mister. Uh, what's up? Hey, guess what I, I, guess what? I have a secret. Go on, I know what it is. Tell me. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna tell you. Ready? Here it comes. Huh? My big sister Jana hates dragonflies. Dragonflies? Yeah. I once saw pictures of a warm donor, a cold donor, an electric donor in a book. But when I showed them to Jana, she said their eyes were creepy and got mad. Oh, that was a secret, wasn't it? Jana is going to be mad at me again. But I think that's because the pictures were all up and close and stuff. I bet real ones are super cute. When I grow up, I want to travel the world and meet some real dragonflies. Alright, so there you go. She wants dragonflies. Let's go return to the big sister and let her know what's up. So, it's you, Gleema. She likes dragonflies. No, no way! Of all things, she wants to have a see a gross dragonfly! A warm donor, a cold donor, and an electric donor. Three different types! Oh, anything but dragonflies. Just thinking about their eyes makes me feel sick. I see, so Gleema knows that I despise dragonflies, and that's why she wouldn't tell me how much she loves them. Well, this is her birthday wish. I didn't have a choice. Bring me a warm Dana, a cold Dana, an electric Dana, please. I want to surprise Gleamer, so don't tell her about this. Alright, so that's the next step. Uh, I'm going to check my inventory to see what we have. We have a cold and a warm one. We need to get an electric one. Cold ones can be found in cold environments. Warm ones can be found in warm environments, unless it's the reverse, which could be the true. In which case, go to Gerudo and go to uh, Hebra. And we need to go, I'm assuming, to the Zora region for the electric one. I'll be back in a minute. Turns out, actually, the best places to go are Gerudo Desert during the rain, or the Thundra Plateau. Makes sense, but yes, this is where we need to go find one. Oh, I just missed it, I think. Damn. 
<sighs> it was a cold donor I've been chasing all this time. Okay, thank you. I've looked in all these sort of places for like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. Beetle sells electric donors, however we are in central Hyrule to get here, so I apologize if that annoys you that I'm going to an area that, well, like one area early, if that. We took the very side corner here, just past the West Nakuda region, it's literally right on the edge, so I just... I went to Gerudo, there was no rain, I went to the Thundra Plateau, I found cold donners, and nothing. Beetle sells it at Riverside Stable. And that was the only way I could actually get it going. My lord. Can we get out of here now? I'm gonna go back to that girl. And then let's let's finish this up. Because this is a lot of waiting around for stuff. <laughs> a quick video. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. Alright, here we are. Whew, finally. Yeah. Hey, if you're looking for a place to crash, you can stay here. Mm. But enough about that. Have you secured a warm Dana, cold Dana, an electric Dana? I sure have. <laughs> right. In that case, might I have them? Mm. Oh. Bah, I can't do this! Please give them to her, just give them to Gleamy yourself! Okie dokie, you know, she's in the middle of sleeping right now, it is 2.50 in the morning, but yeah, sure, whatever. So sleepy. Oh, we've got to wait, of course we do. Ugh. Dude! I don't have all day. Calm down, Beetle. Okay, there you go. Oh, hi, mister. What? These are for you. Really? What is it? What is it? Wow, real life dragonflies. Are they ready for me? Hey, big sis, looky, looky. It's a real life warm do, aren't it? And a cold donor and an electric donor too. I'll bring him over so you can see. Ah. Hey, cut it out! <laughs> All right, and that is Little Big Sister's big request. Almost done. So it's you. I've managed to calm down somehow. Now then, I must thank you for catching those dragonflies. Here, take this. Nice, a silver ruby. I'm fine with most insects, the only ones I simply can't stand are dragonflies. When I think about them looking at me with those evil eyes. <sighs> <sighs> that was rough. Okay, I need to take a deep breath. Right, now that's finally little sister's big, re big request sorted. All that's left now are two last side quests. One in Akala, one in Not. One in Not. We're now going to the East Akala Stable. This one better be quick. And this one won't be long. Oh, we have two. Well, we'll find out one way or another. Oh, good morning. I've been on patrol to duty lately. The name's Hoz. Jeez, it's gotten dangerous around here lately. It has. Yes. We shall have been hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around pushing some cart at night, night after night. He's been making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Do you know Kilton? Yes, I do. What? You've heard something? Well, if you see any suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if you see this Kilton character, please tell me all the juicy details. I'm counting on you. Great, we actually got the right one and not the shrine quest. So, a shady customer. For this, you need to give a picture of Kilton to Hoz. Sir, mm. you've got information about Kilton? Allow me to take a look. This is what it looks like. From the back. Shh. <laughs> I see. Now, how strange. Oh. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. This will surely help me hunt him down. Really, I must thank you somehow. Nice, and a final silver ruby. Well, I must return to my mission now. Farewell. The final thing I want to do, because now that is all of the Akala... Uh, hello. Side quests done. The final thing I want to do is I want to go quickly back to way down here, Hatano Village, simply because we have an Ancient Battle Axe Plus that I want to give in to the kit. Hey! Hmm? Oh, isn't that an Ancient Battle Axe Plus? Nice, nice! Let me see, let me see! Go ahead. Ring! Wow! It's even more amazing than I ever imagined! 
Thanks! Here's a token of my thanks! Silver rupee! No worries. My grams told me to give it to the person that teaches you how to fight. Close enough. Alright, the next weapon I want to see is... What was it? Um, oh yes, that one! That one! <laughs> Have you heard of a frost spear? I've seen it in books, but never in real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. Okay, we shall do that at some point. We unfortunately don't have one right now. We've gone through multiple in the past. When I have it, I will go deliver it to him another time. We still have a whole other area of side quests to do, so I'm not going to finish this guy's side quest quite yet. But on that note, we are finally done with all of the side quests in the Akala region. Took me an hour and 49 minutes. Yeesh. Anyway, next time, we're going to go way up to the Akala region again. Oh, it really is high up. And we're going to go and take on all of the shrines in the region. Considering we've already done... Oh, actually, we've already done one other one. So we've got probably like six-ish to do. And we know the location of one because I found it earlier accidentally. Which is, might be a while. We will have to see. But that is a thing for next time. For now, though, mine has been Daz. You didn't really care. And I'll see you in a bit.